A development that could be a big game changer for heart patients. About 200,000 cardiac pacemakers are implanted every year in this country. And now a new version is being tested and it doesn't require surgery. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez shows us how it works. Researchers at Mount Sinai Hospital were the first in the U.S. to implant this new experimental pacemaker, smaller than a AAA battery. This device doesn't require surgery, so that means there's a low risk of, of infection. Doctors use a catheter to guide the new device up through a vein in the leg and screw it directly into the heart muscle. Doctors say the new pacemaker doesn't have wires or leads, which may be another advantage. The problem is if ever that lead has to be removed, then it's very difficult to remove that lead. It's also a problem because that lead, which is what communicates with the heart, that lead can fracture. Pacemakers are necessary when a patient's heart doesn't beat fast enough or beats erratically. Dr. Vivek Reddy says the procedure only takes five to ten minutes and the recovery is quick too. The device corrected Gregory Dobin's too slow heartbeat, restoring his pulse to a healthy 60 beats per minute. The 83-year-old who was left with facial paralysis after cancer says his breathing has also improved since getting the device. I feel much better, I tell you. If there's a problem, doctors can remove the pacemaker through a catheter. More than 600 patients are expected to take part in the nationwide study to make sure the new pacemaker is safe and effective. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.